Wanak is Tim Wallace, who's been flying there for 24 years. The cloud uh, was decreasing. Uh, there was a, a high wind. I think the pilot, the helicopter pilot, said there was you know about 40 knots up top. Um, but uh, it's certainly perfectly all right for visual uh, flying for the type of operations that were being carried out. Um, well, I mean, you know, really we are devastated. It's uh, it's something uh, nobody counts on. Um, and uh, yes, we've you know we're all very sad about it. Did you know the pilot yourself? Um, yes, his father and mother uh, have worked for me for a number of years, and uh, uh, he was a very um, uh, well-respected pilot. How about his experience in flying? Well, we've all got to start somewhere. I mean, when I started in '65, uh, I had no hours, and uh, um, you um, gain more experience uh, the more flying you do. And uh, he was in his early twenties, uh, so he was um, experienced. He was current, he was fully rated, uh, Aspiring Air have got a very uh, uh, strict tra um, training program and uh, he, he was um, well respected. Attempts to recover the single body still left on the mountain will continue tomorrow.